children welcome to the lesson fun with science 6 you have learnt about acidic alkaline and neutral substances now it is time to do some fun activities click on any of these buttons to begin We know that rocks are hard. Can liquids like water eat away or break a rock? Do you think it is possible? Let's carry out an activity to find out. In this activity, we will use a chalk. Chalk is made of limestone. These are the things you will need. Four pieces of white chalk. A glass of lime juice. A glass of vinegar. A glass of liquid detergent. A glass of drinking water. Make sure each liquid fills about half of the glasses. Then, label each of the glasses. Now, put a piece of chalk into each of the glasses. Make sure that most of the chalk is in the liquids. Leave the glasses for several days. Observe the chalk in each of the glasses daily. What can you conclude from your observation? Click on the glasses to find out. After several days, we can see that the chalk in the lime juice and the vinegar had dissolved. Acidic substances are very strong and can eat away and break the limestone. The chalk dissolved in the acidic substances after several days. However, the pieces of chalk in the alkaline and neutral substances did not dissolve. People have been sending messages using codes for hundreds of years. The messages were usually very important and must be kept secret. So, only certain people could understand the codes. Let's write some secret messages to our friends today. However, Instead of writing secret messages with codes, you will write secret messages with a special ink, an invisible ink. Are you ready? First, we need to prepare our special invisible ink. These are the things you will need. Limes or lemons Baking soda, water, spoon, plastic cups, paint brushes, and Manila card. We will make two kinds of invisible ink one from an acidic substance and another from an alkaline substance. Squeeze some lemon into one of the cups. Then, mix some baking soda with water in another cup. Stir it well. Voila! The two kinds of ink are ready. Now, Let's write our secret messages. Cut out several pieces of manila card. 
dip a paintbrush into each of the inks. Write down your message on a piece of manila card using the paintbrushes. You can write a message using both inks. Or you can write different messages using different types of inks. Leave the inks to dry. When the inks dry, the writing will become invisible. Aha! You must be wondering how we can read our secret messages. It is easy! All we need is some cabbage juice. We have learned how to make a testing solution from cabbage juice before. Do you still remember how to make the cabbage juice? Click on the cabbage icon if you want to see the steps again. These are the things that you need. Purple cabbage Pot filled with water Strainer Grater Spray bottle Jug Now, grate the cabbage Put the grated cabbage into the pot filled with water. Simmer the cabbage for about 30 minutes until the juice turns dark purple. Let the juice cool down. Strain the juice into the jug. Then, pour the juice into the spray bottle. Your cabbage juice is ready! Okay! Let us read our secret messages. Spray the paper slightly with the cabbage juice. Can you read your secret messages? Have fun! Let us look again at the activity we did with chalk and acidic substances. Chalk is made of limestone. Limestone is a kind of rock. Yet, on contact with acids, limestone would break into pieces and dissolve. This is how acid rain slowly eats away and even breaks rock mountains. Do you know how acid rain is formed? Let us find out together. Click on the power plant to find out more. Power plants burn coal to produce electricity for our daily use. Factories and motor vehicles use petroleum as a source of energy. This burning of fossil fuels releases fumes into the atmosphere. The fumes contain carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide. They then combine with water vapor to produce acid rain. So, acid rain is the result of air pollution. Yes.
You have seen how acid rain forms. Can you name some of the effects of acid rain? Think about this. Then, click on the pictures to find out. Acid rain can affect our health. Polluted air affects our lungs, making it difficult for us to breathe. This causes more health problems, especially for people with asthma. Acid rain also makes metal pipes rusty. These metal pipes are used to transport water for household use. This may affect the quality of our water and eventually makes us sick. Acid rain can affect the growth of plants. When rain falls, some amount of rainwater goes into the soil. This amount of rainwater becomes groundwater. This increases the amount of acid in the soil. The acid may be harmful to the nutrients in the soil, which are important for plants to grow. In time, plants become weak and die. Acid rain affects man-made structures. Structures can be buildings, tunnels, bridges, dams, and towers. Acid rain eats away metals like steel and zinc. Marble, granite, and limestone structures are also easily damaged by acid rain over time. The Taj Mahal in India, Parthenon in Greece, Notre Dame in France, and the Coliseum in Rome are examples of famous structures that have been affected by acid rain. Acid rain affects animals. Water in lakes and rivers may become acidic because of rainfall. The increased amount of acid in the water may harm the lives of fish. Fish is part of the food web. In the long run, other living things in the food web will also be affected. Thank <laughs> you.